kapag napatunayan na hindi bali dyan, eh siya po'y makukulong. The sponsor, uh, can we allow her please to continue? And you will give you all the time to ask a no, question. No, Madam yes. ako muna ang magsalita kasi I'm explaining eh. Ginagaw niya po yung time ko eh. Nagbabala si Sen. Rafi Tulfo na ipagpaliban niya ang deliberasyon sa panukalang 2024 budget ng DENR dahil sa umano'y questionable itatayong windmill farm sa isang conservation area sa probinsya ng Rizal. Batay sa Proclamation 1636 Series of 1977, ang Mazungi Geo Reserve ng Baras, Rizal ay idineklara bilang wildfire sanctuary. Ngunit ayon naman kay Sen. Cynthia Villar, budget sponsor ng DENR, hindi nagbigay ng permit ang BAMB o Protected Area Management Board para mag-operate ang kumpanya ng enerhiya sa lugar kundi pag-aralan lamang ang potensyal ng wind energy. Welta naman ni Tulfo, may mga construction na ng kumpanya sa lugar. Ngunit binabulaanan ito ni Villar at parte lamang ito ng pag-aaral ng kumpanya para sa posibleng wind energy sa Masungi. Hati naman ang opinyon ng mga netizen sa bangayan ng dalawang senador. Ayon pa nga sa kanila, antagal mo ng senador, Cynthia, pero bakit di mo alam ang batas ng IPs na hindi dapat sila maimpluensyahan? Ikaw pa mismo ang nagsabi na naimpluensyahan sila. Ano ba yan? Magagaya si Rafi kay Trillanes, same sila ni Discarte, puro pasikat. Dapat gawan muna ng aksyon, hindi pa pogi lang. Ang sources ni Tolfo, puro mga chismis, walang affidavit or sworn statement man lang. Pabibo na naman si Rafi, yan ba talaga ang tamang oras para pag-usapan yan? For sure, gumaganti ka na naman dahil natapakan ng maliit mong utak gaya ng pagtapak sa iyo ni Pia. Kaya gumanti ka din nung DepEd Budget Deliberations. Miski IPs, naaano din yan eh. Nai-influence din yan eh. Ay, dapat hindi. Ako, tell it to the Marines. Sorry, tell it to the Marines. Dapat hindi po put that person under oath na yan ay valid documents at kapag napatunayan na hindi valid dyan, eh siya po'y makukulong. The sponsor, uh, can we allow her please to continue? And you will give you all the time to ask a no, question. Madam Prosyas, yes. ako muna ang magsalita kasi I'm explaining eh. Ginagaw niya po yung time ko eh. Pat responsible mining at dapat sa tamang lokasyon. At kapag marami po nagreklamong mga Pilipino, pakinggan po natin. In fact, pati po yung mga foreigner, third party na gumawa po ng auditing sila mismo ay nag-oppose na hindi dapat ituloy yung Shana Gold pero pinagpipilitan po natin Madam Sponsor Okay na tayo po dyan Now last but not the least eto na po yung sinasabi nyo kanina Masungi Conservation Area Ancestral Domain sabi sa'yo, last but not the least, the masuni. Okay. Bakit po pinayagan ang isang wind farm na magtayo doon po sa masuni conservation area na meron pong ancestral domain issue? Uh, talaga pong ano, there's something wrong with the contract with Masungi. Kasi hindi ho pwede yung perpetual. No, I'm not talking, sorry, sorry, let me interrupt. Para hindi naman sayang oras natin. I'm not talking about Masungi Foundation. Uh -huh. I'm not talking. Mamaya na po natin pag-usapan yun later. Uh -huh. What I'm talking is just the Masungi Conservation Area. Uh -huh. Not the foundation. Uh -huh. So, despite the fact na ito po ay declared as ancestral domain at meron pong Uh, nagkiklaim ng mga IPs at uh, under uh, proclamation number uh, 1636 it was declared as a, a sanctuary, wildlife sanctuary and game, uh, game preserve at hindi po dapat pwedeng panghimasukan ng anumang commercial activities mm -hmm. explorations, exploitations etc. Dahil may marami po mga ibon dyan at mga halaman na endemic po sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. In 2020, a proposal to uh, measure the potential of wind energy was given to the state of the processing devices. Yes, you mentioned them. Evil 
Uh, what are we talking here about the wind energy that they want to do in Masungi? Uh, Mr. The, the wind farm. Uh, Mr. President. The Vena, Mr. President, Madam Sponsor, the Vena energy is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. the Vena energy that was given uh, permit by Pambi to put up uh, their uh, structure. You met Ms. Boitzen, Ms. In fact, if I may add, while you're doing your research, DNR Administrative Order Number 33, okay, May 10, 1993, uh, Masungi, Iraq, and its vicinity, specifically bounded by longitudes 121 degrees, 17 degrees to 121 degrees, 21 east, west, anyway, etc. It says here, declared a strict nature reserve and wildlife sanctuary in with in accordance with the provision of RA 75H6, otherwise known as National Integrated Protected Area System Act of 1992. At wala pa pong bagong DAO or Department or DNR Administrative Order or na magsusupersede nito. Sabi po, uh, wind it was entity... By, uh, Mr. Secretary Alcala, I'm sorry, Madam uh, Pastor. Uh, Mr. President, sabi po yung wind energy is allowed because it's uh, uh, use. renewable energy. But wala pa daw permit yan. Parang mag study pa lang kung ano yung potential ng wind energy. Yun lang ang ibinigay nila. They cannot operate yet. Parang yung PAMBI, ang ibinigay lang is a study of the potential of the wind energy in Masungi. Huh? No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Uh, dapat in the first place wala pong gagawing study doon kasi naghukay na po eh marami na pong structure doon and I have pictures to show what are the pictures? ang sabi po nila yung PAMBI binigay lang is to determine the wind energy may conflict po eh ewan lang natin ko yung binigyan ng put na ng permit to measure the wind the potential of wind energy kung yeah, dinisobey yeah, nila yeah. na Nag, nagawa na sila doon pero it, it is based on a study lang Madam President, meron na po mga istruktura doon, nag-umpisa na sila na maglalagay ng part by uh, wind farm doon Yung nilagay daw po doon hindi part ng Masungi, sa Pililia daw yon it's not part of the legislated protected area, yung yes. pinaglagyan ng mga improvements na yon it's uh uh, beyond the legislated protected area. I'll help you, Madam Sponsor. What happened was, ginamit ng PAMBI yung Section 25 ng Republic Act 11038 in EPAS 2018 as amended. What does it say doon po sa Section 25? Special uses with protected Areas. So, nagkaroon po because of PAMBI, inigam po yung PAMBI sa batas na ito, nagkaroon ng amendment na para ideklara kahit isang protected area na into multi-use. And this has to be amended. Kasi it runs contrary to the spirit of the law protecting uh, they want Our to study and investigate what happened because of your contention. Can you give us yung study nyo para, uh, a copy lang of the study so they can investigate when there was a, a violation of the law? The, the area kasi is a strict protected zone, uh, Mr. President, Madam Sponsor. And having said that, DNR should know better that if it's a strictly protected zone, hindi dapat nila panghimasukan yan. Hindi dapat nila inisip kahit ba renewable energy na manghimasok yan. I don't have any problem with uh, renewable energy na para eh, magproliferate sa bansa natin because me being the chairman of the Committee on Energy, Palag po ako sa renewable energy, pero dapat ilagay natin sa lugar. Huwag po doon sa mga protected area. Especially po na meron pong mga ancestral domain issue na dahil misplaced po yung mga IPs natin. 
na walang mga boses at walang mga kalaban-laban pinagsisipalang pa, pinapalayas doon sa kanilang ancestral domain dahil sa ngalan ng development aka sa lapi uh, uh, the assem the the uh, point of view of the DNR is in every protected area there is a place for a strict implementation of the law uh, is, is, uh, they call it the strict protection zone that was there are also areas in in the in the protected area yung tawag nila multi-purpose multi-use zone yes so hindi naman nila pinayagan do sa strict protection zone doon lang sa multi-use zone exactly Ayun, kung may other complaints na pinaalis yung mga tao, ganun-ganun, then let's have the complaint and we will investigate. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much for that answer, Madam Sponsor. That's exactly what I want you to say. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, sa, ang nangyari kasi nagkaroon po ng multi-use zone klinasify po ng DNR using Section 25 of the uh, E-NIPAS uh, law as amended, 20. 18 from Republic Act 7586 of the NIPAS Act of 1992. Now, yan po, hindi ko po, hindi ko na pwede yung contest yan dahil batas po yan. Okay? I will not contest. However, nakasaad dito, para ang PAMBI ay payagan na mag-classify na multi-use sa isang strictly protected area, kailangan, ito na po yung minention nyo kanina, Madam Sponsor, Members of the PAMBI board, which consists of DNR Regional Director, Governor, Senator of the Republic of the Philippines, who is duly registered resident of the province, um, a district representative of the Congressional District, Mayors, Chairperson of Barangay, Regional Directors, DA, NEDA, DOST, DND, three representatives from NGO or PO, one but not more than three representatives from IPs, ICCs, and then one representative from the academic institution, and finally, one representative from the private sector. Now, gusto ko pong malaman kung nasunod po ba ito na itong lahat ng nakasulat dito sa Section 11 ng Republic Act 11038 2018 as amended ng e kung nasunod po ito ng pagbigay po ng multi-use ng DNR sa wind farm na Bernas Energy. Bena Energy. Kung nasunod po. Nandiyan daw po members. lahat yan nung magbigay ng permit. Well, can I see the list? Kung sino tong 11 na ito na pumayag na yeah, ma-exploy po yung ating environment okay. doon po sa Masungi. Sa amin, yung nga mga local mahilig. I need the list of those people na pumayag na exploit natin. Itong tinatawag natin Masuri uh, Conservation Area, now which is declared as a strictly protected area. So itong 11 members na nag-sign, members of the board, sa PAMBI, allowing exploitation of Masungi, I need a list of those people and their signatures. Uh, and very important to me is yung pong IPs. Meron po bang pumirma na IPs? Meron ba? Meron? I need a list and I need the They will submit to you those who signed. What? But right now? Kasi pero ho yan, I'm warning you that yan, majority wins. Di ba? Kahit na hindi pumirma lahat, kung majority pumirma, panalo yun. Oh. I know. Pero oh. ang selection process ninyo, kailangan meron pong IPs Ayun, on. pinafalo. Kaya nga, paano po sinelect yung IPs? May I know? Uh, From the experts? Baka hindi naman pumirma yung IPs. Alam nyo, miski IPs, naaano din yan eh. Nai-influence din yan eh. Okay. Ay, dapat hindi. Ay, nako. Tell Ay, it to the Marines. Sorry. Tell it to the Marines. Dapat hindi po. Kasi, eh, ako, ako, yung mga IPs sa ay, Legislated ako, protected area yeah, yeah. nangyayari yan. Yung mga barangay na i-influence. Eh. Kawawa naman po yung mga IPs. Eh, kulang nga po sa pinag-aralan, kulang po sa kaalaman. Yeah, and then exploit po natin because we're saying na 
eh, madali silang ma-influensyaan. Dapat we try to help them to make sure na they will not be easily influenced so that gagawin po nila kung anong tama para sa kanilang proteksyon. Oo oh, nga, ang, oh, hindi siya maniwala na yung IP sin pumirma. <laughs> Kaya huwag mo na sabihin sa akin, ako alam kung pwede yun, pero siya ayaw niya. Kaya isigay niyo na lang kutino yung pumirma. Okay. I'll help you. Would you mind if I'd help you? Yeah, you're very welcome, Mr. Okay. President. Kasi bago po mapili ang isa o dalawa o tatlong IPs na sumama po sa PAMB, mm. sa selection process, number one, dumadaan yan sa Indigenous Political Structure or IPS. Okay? Ano po yun? It consists of tribal leaders that have exclusive right na para magpadala po ng representative nila kung hindi sila mismo ang sumama doon sa PAMBI. Number one. Number two, dapat dumadaan po sa tinatawag na FPIC, Free and Prior Informed Consent. Process ito na ipapakita na itong IPs were not coerced and were not influenced just like what the good sponsor said na madaling na influence kaya nga po papasok itong proseso to make sure na hindi po sila na influence hindi po sila na coerce ito po yung FPIC and finally evidence to 1 and 2 I mentioned dapat may certification precondition or CP documents from NCIP firmado na nagkaroon ng tamang proseso at pumayag ang IPs community in the absence of these three then invalid po yung pag-recruit nyo ng IPs para maging member ng PAMBIS board. Mr. President, we will just submit all the papers available to to the DNR about the action of the PAMBI. We just want to reassure you that it is not yet a permit to operate the windmill. It's just a study to find out the potential of the wind farm here in in the legislated Thank protected. you Madam President thank you good sponsor yes i definitely agree with you so i need to see the cp yes certification of precondition signed by the ncip mm -hmm. kahit na testing pa yan kasi ang nakalagay sa batas kahit na testing dapat hindi doon sa mga lugar na merong issue sa ancestral domain. Kaya nga po dumadaan doon sa tatlong sinasabi kong steps. Without those, then invalid po yung mga nakapirmang IPs doon. So I need a copy of the CP na pirmado po ng NCIP. Because kanina lang po, tumawag ako sa NCIP, wala po silang pinipirmahan na CP allowing the exploration, the testing of anything whatsoever commercial doon po sa Masungi uh, conservation area. Now, if you cannot show me CP, again, I will defer the budget of the DNR. What programs of a DNR uh, do you want to defund? Uh, perhaps you could ask that of the subcommittee chair. So, uh, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, you may be frustrated with certain uh, output of certain programs, and that's your prerogative. I've been through that also before. So, perhaps you could mention the programs of the DNR that you think don't deserve the funding. And uh, it is up to the chair of the subcommittee and the chair of the finance committee to agree to your recommendation. I, I understand, uh, Madam President. Yeah, yeah so uh, I would submit those uh, uh, amounts uh, in the amendments that I would like that I, uh, I wish to be transferred to uh, the agencies that I did mention. However, for now, yeah, if uh, the DNR wishes to, uh, they, uh, they can submit to us, to me, uh, a copies of those documents that they said they're trying to research now, and they are uh, going to show me, especially, especially uh, those last documents that I requested, the certificate, certification of precondition signed by the NCIP. Now, if they're saying na meron po silang ganon, then I need the person that will show me the CP na sign na NCIP, put that person under oath na yan ay valid documents at kapag napatunayan na hindi valid yan, eh siya po'y makukulong, makakasuhan dahil I just spoke to the NCIP people 
main office and regional offices, wala po silang ini-issue yung CP. Now, kung sinasabi, otherwise sinasabi ng uh, DNR na meron, then let's see. Uh, yes, we, we recognize Senator Villar. Yes. Uh, they were say uh, the DNR was saying that what the IP signed is to make the study. There is no permit yet to implement the the project. So when you you cannot ask for the NCIP commitment because that is given when there is a project. But ito parang permit lang to study the project. So, ang pumirma lang yung IPs, yung IP representative. Kaya nga po, kaya nga po, para makapagpirma ang isang IP representative, dumaan po dapat sa doon sa tatlong process na minention ko po. Number one, dapat may tinatawag na indigenous political structure. Tribal leaders po ang mag-assign, mag-designate kung sino ang allowed na mag-represent doon sa tribal group nila. Number two, meron po yung tinatawag na free and prior informed consent to make sure po na ito po yung process ng NCIP to make sure na itong IPs were not influenced and were not coerced. And then finally, dapat po meron pong evidence of one and two that really happened, certification of precondition. Ito po isang uh, documentation from NCIP to make sure, to ensure na nagkaroon po ng tamang proseso and this should be signed na pumayag po yung IPs. And this, should be, this document should be signed by the NCIP committee. Now, sabi niyo po, ang ginagawa ay testing pa lamang. Even though testing pa lamang, dapat po merong paalam sa mga IPs kahit testing pa lamang po yan. Um, Mr. President, it is not the power of the DNR uh, to appoint the IPs or to see to it that the right IPs are represented in the PAMBI. It's the PAMBI who will decide if they will accept the representation of the IPs. So, hindi po natin mare-require ang DNR doon kasi may, may, may right ang PAMBI to choose kung sino ang magiging member ng PAMBIs. It's according to the, uh, the law. Mr. Pres Madam President and, and uh, the good sponsor, yes, kasi once na ginamit niyo po yung IPs, meron pong batas ang IPs sa pamagitan ng tribal group nila. You cannot just go to the IPs and approach them and say, hey, you, I want you to be... No, no, with... no. Kailangan hey, po may proseso so, talaga. Ang this, sinasabi ng DNR, hindi sila magpo-provide ng information na yun, kundi yung PAMBI. Kasi sila yung nag-approve na yun ng po, member when, ng PAMBI. When, exactly. So, we, the DNR cannot produce that document. It's the PAMBI. Yes, Madam President. The PAMBI... Uh, Masungi. Yes, the PAMBI are the ones, base po dun sa batas na binanggit ko kanina. Kaso ang member ng PAMBI, hindi naman lang DNR. Marami. I, Oo, may yeah, local government. There's an issue, you. Madam President, uh, good sponsor, since meron pong issue ng ancestral domain at ang IPs po dapat dito ay ginagalang, nirespeto, nirecognize. So, so kailangan po talaga kasama sila pa, doon po sa pagbuo nitong PAMBI Board of Directors para doon sa isang project. Opo. Okay. Now, sabi ko rito, sabi sa batas ng IPs, dapat meron pong tinatawag na selection process at dumadaan po yan sa IPS. Tribal leaders ang pumipili kung sino sa kanilang kamiembro ang pwede, binibigyan ng authority, ang pwedeng mag-witness o maging member ng PAMBI. Uh, PAMBI hindi po pwedeng basta-basta uh, na po natin hindi. ituturo kung sino dyan sa sa uh, protection po ito ng mga IPs kasi kayo na po mismo nag Mr. Pres Madam President and uh, your good sponsor kayo na po mismo nagsabi kanina eh alam niyo naman yung IPs madaling ma-influence yan eh kaya nga po eh, we have this kaya, Madam President power dyan, Madam President DNR. Mr. DNR, uh, Pambi, kaya nga po we have kaya nga po we have this Spendard, um, uh, may, may we just request uh, both of course uh, Your Honor the, the sponsor, uh, can we allow her please to continue? And you will give you all the time to ask a no, question. Madam President, yes. ako muna ang magsalita kasi I'm explaining eh. Tinagaw niya po yung time ko eh. I was the one explaining and my witness is the uh, minority leader. We spent session for a minute.